This is Sports with Blake. Oh, what up, man? Blessings. Hey, hear me? <laughs> Bless us, King. Bless us. Yeah. What's going on? Are you good, bro? Your reception's a bit... You are right, yeah? I think your reception is, is, is terrible. Listen, I'm in America, man. My reception is good. Really? Uh, no, yours is terrible, man. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mr. Blake himself? What up, man? Yes, Nubian Ninja. How are you? Bro, listen, I've been blessed, man. Um... I've been so blessed, I can't even count my blessings. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm grateful to be alive, and I'm just grateful to be here, man. So blessings, yeah. man. Thank you for having me on. I'd love to say thank you for having me on here, man. I appreciate you. Hey, no worries. Um, it's a pleasure having you. Um, you are one of the people that are starting and really becoming on the journey with this sporting podcast. So I appreciate you entering the zone and joining us early but it's going to be a huge podcast. i believe it i believe it brother i believe it let me introduce you though so nubian ninja someone i've been following on the social medias instagram so it's nubian underscore ninja on the instagram right boom that's it yep i've been following you for a while um you're a plant-based you know strength personal trainer yeah you're an athlete you're, you seem like a man that uses your body weight very well and you're an explosive fitness trainer so people who don't know i want to get to know about nubian ninja make sure you follow him support him on his social media platforms um Let's go. Shout to, big shout to everybody tuned in shout out to philip in the uk he's tuned in um big shout out to your audience also so yeah let's begin nubian ninja tell us first of all um, how the name Nubian Ninja come to <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's, it's interesting right I've always been a fan of like growing up n ninjutsu right ninja watching ninja movies back in Africa right so for those of you who don't know I grew up in, in a country called Ghana I mean now it's on the map so everybody knows Ghana right so I grew up in, in Ghana boom I see that flag B I see that flag you know what I mean so <laughs> I grew up in West Africa, Ghana, and I grew up in a small village. I started off by going to a small village, right? Yeah. Um, um, in this village, I had, I, I pretty much lived on the, on the, in the beaches, right? On the beach, it's called Fete. So I lived on the beach, enjoyed myself on the beach, and just got into watching ninja movies, right? So that's why, that's where really the name came from. And the, the name Nubian really is kind of like synonymous now with being black, right? So Nubian, Kush, the um, original, they say like black people based on research, right? With Nubians and Kush, right? I mean, more than day, there are still people called Nubians, but based on my research, that's where my line, my tribe line came from, like the Kush, Nubian, Egypt, and then it comes all the way down to West Africa because that's the traveling path, right? So that's that's why I go by the Nubian Ninja, really, because I'm fascinated with um with um ninjutsu karate the whole night and then the background of being black, Nubian, Kush, that that's that's why the name came from. How how long have you been training? When did you start taking training seriously? Have you always trained all your life in this stage? You know, even when I was a little kid, man, like my sisters remember I used to like run off walls and do flips and run off walls. And so I've been, I would say I've been training my whole life, but I got really seriously when I joined the military, right? Um, I joined the Marine Corps in 2002, um, which is um, United States Marine Corps. I joined that in 2002. And then when I joined in 2002, we were mainly using like body weight. You're doing push-ups, pull-ups. You're doing those type of things running, right? So it's mainly focused on body weight fitness, right? And then eventually, once you get out of boot camp, you start, you could have the access to tools. But initially, that, that really became focused on the man. That's like, man, I could I could build my body with being just body weight. So when I came out of boot camp for three months, that's all we we're doing, just body weight work, partner work, no tools, right? Like, we, we have this concept called equipment of opportunity, whereby in the military, it's actually called... Um, weapons of opportunity whereby you could use any type of weapon to to achieve your objective right 
So I came up with like what um, equipment of opportunity whereby you could use any type of equipment to achieve your fitness goal. And the main body that you have, the main tool that you have all the time or equipment that you have all the time is pretty much your body, right? So that's mainly the concept behind that, yeah. So I'll say I wow. became very seriously like in 2002, I would say. And, you know, since you started training, mm -hmm. um, how was that? And, you know, you said you was in, in, the, mil in the military. Um, how has those two things mm -hmm. combined helped you with mindset in your life? You know, I would say that I had, I had no, I had some kind of discipline in terms of, um, so in high school, when I first came here, I went to high school, right? So in, in Walton High School in, in the Bronx, because that's where I grew up. I moved from Africa, came to the Bronx. I went to, I started out with high school. I was like the valedictorian of my, I graduated the valedictorian. So I was, a, I was a, a smart dude. So when it comes to, I was like the key term was now I'm, I'm just not anymore. Right. So the key, um, so I was I'm, I was somewhat disciplined in terms of being um, in terms of studies, right? But I wasn't I didn't really care about working out. So one of the people who I would say motivated me into working out was one of my cousins. My cousin used to do track, right? So he was he was doing track in high school. I would play I, I played soccer and in high school and I played volleyball. But I I didn't say I was I was I wasn't giving it my all. Until I joined the military, right? And then it taught me, like, whatever it is that you're doing, you need to be focused, you need to be disciplined, and you, it got to be like a religion. You got to practice that concept, right? Practice it religiously until it becomes a habit. So since, I would say, probably since I got out, since 2002, I've ran at least four times a week since 2002. At least four times a week, right? Since 2002. Just being... being being practicing religiously, even if the days that I don't run, I go out and do some kind of walking with a little bit of a sprint, right? Do something, and that discipline is, I'll uh, say, has really helped me achieve some, some would say, like the, the fitness level that I am now, right? There's still more to go. Well, you're uh, uh, by the looks of you, you know, um, you're, you're looking very well. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Look, you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. Know that the people want to know, so we want to get to the some of the spicy questions that the people want to know. <laughs> um, first, spicy question of the conversation is: uh, We want to know how are we getting an eight pack like yourself? Because you are living with an let's eight pack on your chest. Let's do it. Let's do it. Listen. <laughs> um, the, I could tell you the secrets to it, right? But, I mean, if I'm telling you this a secret, it means usually I want to sell you something, right? I'm not here to sell you anything. There's no secret other than being consistent and disciplined. The question is, do you know yourself, right? If you know yourself, then there are certain things that you are attracted to doing, right, in terms of um, exercise, right? So you like to walk. You don't have to run like I do. Just start out with walking, right? And then watch what you put in your mouth because it's evidence of who you are. Whatever you put in your mouth, it shows on it shows on you, either on your skin or it shows on your essence of body weight, right? Something has got to give, right? So you got to make if you if you, you either want you either you either want that body and being religious with it, or you just want to do something else, right? So. I'm just saying being religious, being religiously consistent, right, with whatever training regimen that you want. And if you don't have any clue, find you a trainer or just do some research on your own. Some people won't, don't want to do the research so they get a trainer, right? But if, you, if you're diligent in doing research, you can could, you could find how to fine-tune your body, right? And then what kind of diet? I don't even call it diet. Just call it your nutrition, right? Nutrition. What, what, what nutrition are you on? And that's that's it. So I think working out and and um your diet. So if you if let's say you, you eat and you don't you don't work out, then what is it that you really doing, right? You're not there are certain there are certain food or certain food that you can't even get the benefits out of it because you're not even putting it to use. It's like having gas in your car and not and not using that car. What is the point? Right? So the food the food should fuel you into working out. Okay. Wow. This is some deep stuff.
<laughs> by the way, you know, I study psychology, by the way. You know, I have, most people are like, oh, he doesn't fit this trend about that. I do have a psychology in like, um, I have a master's in organizational psychology, right? So how do you, how do you deal? And I, I, I was fascinated by psychology because it's more about myself. How do you, how do I retrain myself on certain things, right? And I find that quite fascinating. And um, I feel... Um, you know, so when you're when you're going out and you're training, you you work out. And I've done my research and I see a lot of your your workouts. You're mm-hmm. you're very explosive, mm-hmm. and um, I feel like sometimes people can shy away from an explosive workout. The regular, you know, mm-hmm. just someone that's beginner in training can shy away from doing an explosive workout. They may not want to injure themselves. So I see you're exposing with it. What's your advice on the from, you know, kind of doing things steady pace, kind of taking it up to do some kind of beginner explosive workouts if you are at that stage? Okay. So I'll say um, so sometimes these explosive stuff is pe- people want to see that, right? Like, okay, you can... You could you could do this explosive stuff, and people want to see what you can do, right? Uh, are you pushing your limits, right? But being able to do explosive stuff comes from practicing the basics really, really well, right? So once you practice the basics really, really well, then you could move on to be doing these explosive stuff. So people will consider explosive stuff as like a clap push up, right? And not um, exploding yeah. up, and not really getting your wrist off the, off the ground is, is part of it. Explode it up onto your hand is part of it, right? You, so slow progression. I think progression is key with everything that you're doing. Like the concept of progression is, is, is critical, right? So don't you don't move from zero to 100. We're not Drake here, right? So just, just start out with zero, then go to one, then go to two, then go to three, and then slowly progress, right? What, what would you, Blake, so what would you say is your, biggest hang up in terms of um in terms of being explosive what would you say is your biggest hang up right now it's it's just i feel like it's just get trying to get back into the mindset of when i was younger mm-hmm. when i was much younger and like teenagers or early 20s when mm-hmm. i would literally be very explosive because that's just the way i was i was a footballer so i'd be i'd be very very fast, very explosive, right. but I feel like over time, I may have slowed down a bit and got mm-hmm. more. I like to run with nature, so and I like, I like to do like a, six, a five mile walk. And, um, okay. I like to focus on my breathing when I'm training, so I feel like mm-hmm. sometimes I'm not going away from explosive just because maybe I'm kind of wary of pushing myself to the limit, but I know when I do push myself from when mm-hmm. I've had two teams in the past, they pushed me to levels that I didn't even know that I could even do, or even weights I didn't even know I could lift. Right, I was like, right, right. You know, but that, so you learn things about yourself. So I would say I'm at that stage mentally at the moment where they, I have my moments where I, I may flick out into an old 100-meter sprint. <laughs> 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 yeah, and it, it, it's like, that's what that's what you consider people. So, that you're not, you're not, we're not running a hundred miles. Would you consider a sprint explosive work? I feel like, I feel like if you're there, because even today I was in, I was in the park, a park, you mm-hmm. know, in London, the British park, a really nice mm-hmm. park. And um, yo, listen, listen, not to cut you off, but when I come to London, we're definitely hanging out. I used to come to London like every year. You could ask my sister. You, oh, we didn't even get into how we met, but anyways, go ahead. Yeah. So there was this guy running towards me, right? And um, he was running from the top of the hill, like, explode. He was running the fastest he could, basically, Mm -hmm. to the other side. And there was quite a few people doing that. So you had people doing that. Then you could see people doing steady jogging. And then for me, I was doing, like, a bit of... Today, I was doing doing a run. I would run for a a song. And then I would run for a song. Run for a song. And when I got to the park, which is about half an hour, I'd I'd done about two and a half miles and then I walked three miles around the whole park and the scenery is beautiful so I just made sure I walked three miles I've done about five miles in total 
And I'm trying to do that about four days a week at the moment. That's kind of my vibe. That, that, that is great. That's, yeah, man. So, it's, it's interesting. You pointed something that, um, you, you got, like, one thing is, first, you got to believe it, right? It's all, it's, it starts in the mind, right? Yeah. And once you believe that you can achieve it, then you actually got to put it into works, right? So, and one of my boys, um, his name is Q. He was saying something in regards to, um, people usually would, they like going to the gym because they see other people working out, right? And that, that is a source of motivation, right? Um, so now that there's no gym, people are kind of like demotivated, right? So they don't, they don't have the things around them kind of like pushing them, right? But the thing is, you could, you could look and you could start up by pushing yourself within the comp within within the um the perimeters of your comfort zone right if if you're here then you you come to the edge and then you add just a little bit and then you open just a, just a little bit and then the more you do it the more you expand your base right so like you you walking you running right you walk a little bit you run a little bit you you trying to get back into when you was a football because when you when you play on football even though you, apparently, according to research, you average about 20 miles, right? That's what they were saying, according to research, you average about 20 miles on the, on the pitch, which is crazy, right? But you're not, yeah, but you're not doing the, right, you, you run a little bit, you walk a little bit, you run a little bit, you run a little bit, but you sprint a little bit, you jog go back, and then you walk. Yeah. That's, 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 that's right there. So you don't use the explosive stuff all the time, but when you need it, mm. it's available. It's available to you. So what would you say right now is a, a daily workout for you? What's a day? So for instance, a day to work out on this Friday. Um, what have you done today and what are you going to do? Or what would a Friday workout mean for you right now? What's a day so, um, workout for you? So we, everybody like, we, everybody's like, oh, everybody have goals, right? So once you get to that goal, then what? You gotta set. You gotta set another goal, right? You gotta. So you gotta have like a, a yearly goal. Oh, you have like a five five year goal, uh, three year goal, a year goal, six months goal, three months goal, right? So today I'm working on some some some, some skill work, right? So I got I want to work on some skill work. My I gotta work on mobility. So I'm doing some mobility work, and then also there are certain goals that I want to hit. So on the ring, I've always I've always been fascinated with people being able to do what you call like the the iron cross, right? I think it's, I think it's cool. You know what the iron cross is, right? No, 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 no. So the iron cross is like when you, you like this, this, the, you know the ring, right? The, the, the rings in the, in the gym, gymnastics. Yeah, so yeah, being yeah, able yeah. To, Being able to like open up your arms straight on the rings, like that's like, that's one of the goals that I want to work on, right? I've been, I've been slowly working <laughs> on that, right? So, that's, so today it's part of my it's part of my skill work, like being able to properly train. So I have progressions that I'm looking at. Okay, I got that's what I'm working on today. So there are certain days like today that I work on skills that I want to get better at, right? Because you can always improve, you can always be better. So today is Friday. I've dedicated to certain skills that I want to work on, and this skill require me to strengthen these muscle groups. And these muscle groups require me to work on these range of motions, right? And these range of motions, where do I where do I start? So you kinda of like break it down into that's how I break it down to the different components, right? So I want to work on the iron cross, right? The iron cross requires a lot of lat work, right? So with the lat work, I gotta do some lat work. Pull ups is involved, right? So I gotta do some pull ups, right? And then with the pull up and then show it's a lot of shoulder work. So I gotta do some shoulder mobility. So I gotta I use the bands to do some shoulder mobility, right? And then with the shoulder mobility, I also strengthen, right? Strengthen my shoulders. And then I get on the rings, and then I try a little bit, just slowly. So that's how I break the components now, right? What are the muscle groups that I want to use? What does it involve? Lats, shoulders, right? And then I got to work on that. And then do I need to work on range of motion? Boom, I got to work on range of motion. And then you, you work. That's so, those are some of the things I'm working on today. And, and um, you mentioned, you know, being a footballer, uh, soccer. Yeah. Um, is your sport. so what's um? Yeah. So what's your team? What what team do you support? Uh, what <laughs> team do you play or play? Um, yeah. What's your favorite team? And uh, what position do you play? And what do you like about soccer and the mindset of soccer? 
you know, it's um, I played when I when I when I when I was in high school, and I was playing soccer. I played um, I played defense, and then I moved to midfield, right? Because midfield, that I had a lot of endurance, and I say people who play midfield, they like, I mean. And then being a tactician, right? Being able to distribute the ball, like who is in the best position to do X or who is in the best position to execute Y, right? And so in midfield, you kind of like, you have to know people's strengths. So I, I, I played midfield and I, I like that concept of being, people just, you just watch soccer and be like, oh yeah, just a bunch of people moving balls around, but there's a strategy behind it, right? And and that, that, and besides, that, that's how I grew up too, right? I grew up watching soccer. I didn't grow up watching American football because I came to the States uh, when I was like maybe 13 or 14. My whole life I'd watch soccer. The whole For like 13 years I'd watch soccer. And that's, I really, that's, that's really what I enjoyed. I like American football a little bit, but I enjoy soccer more, right? Obviously, I like, I like, um, I definitely like Man U. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I my love team. man, you man. This is yeah. yeah so, that's what, my about you? what about you? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a Manchester United fan. Um, born okay. and bred, I would okay. say. Okay. I'm from London, so I get a lot of headache about it. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really supporting since I was three years old. Fell in love with mm -hmm. David Beckham and these kind Boom. of guys. Everyone, yeah. Eric Cantona, uh, Eric Cantona, Roy Keane. Um, do some of my favourite Manchester United mm -hmm. players, um, and yeah, I love football. Yeah. Football's a sport that I, I, I played. Um, you know, a box striker. Like I've always been in, in that in that kind of uh, mm -hmm. explosive, you know, twelve yard box. I'll get you that that goal you need in the in the seventieth minute. You know that kind of thing. So yeah, I've always, <laughs> I've always hungry for a ball and an explosive run. You know, to go and get a quick goal. Mm -hmm. You know. I like uh, hey, you, if you remember you Andy see Richard, Richard, Richard hate Richard Richard's kinda hating on you saying boo Big man. Shout. Oh yeah. <laughs> shout out to Rachel. You know, you know anyway. Yeah, shout out to Rachel, man, for connecting us, man. Shout out sis for connecting us, man. For real, for real. Big shout, big shout to Rachel. But um, you yeah. know she's she's actually she's actually the one who actually got me into being a vegan though right because before i was a pescatarian a lot of yeah, people don't know this yeah so a lot of people don't know this a lot of people like oh yeah it's like a general it's like a gradual progression right so yeah um about two years about two years ago which was in december time i want to visit her in new york and she's like yeah man you pescatarian how about we go um let's go vegan vegan vegetarian right and i was like yeah man i think we should do it so she was like yeah let's do it for like three months and see how it feels and then we did it. I think three months, I loved it. Like, I was like, man, I, I could do this because I was eating fish before. So since 2011, I've, I've had fish, right? Since 2011. But I was like, so about two years ago, we switched from go, from, from fish to just being vegan now, right? If, um, it started with a, being a little vegetarian, but then I went vegan, right? And that was because she she was she was the one who suggested it. She's like, "Hey, let's try it out." And then I tried it out. I loved it. And then, and, but now she, I think she 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 eats like fish, like she she pescatarian, I think now. Yeah, so plant based diet. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of questions about that. Um, a lot of um, there's a lot of media coverage about being vegan. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so I want to get some another spicy question. Mm -hmm. uh, about being vegan what would okay. you say straight away before we dove into the diet issue and diet mm -hmm. food and veganism and just all kind of diets um mm -hmm. what would you say to people for instance that never had vegan food and mm -hmm. say that hey, the food has no protein has no mm -hmm. source of protein. people eat <laughs> it and food, they eat it uh, what have you got to say to the vegan naysayers at the moment? <laughs> so, I mean, there's, now there's a lot of research about it, right? So there's a lot of research about it, so I don't even... But we got to really got to think, though, right? If if you eat eating chicken, is, is chicken eating chicken or is chicken eating beef? Like, no, they're not, <laughs> right? Like, if, if you eat eating chicken to get your protein, 
what is the chicken eating chicken or is chicken eating beef to get protein? I mean, they're really not. Right? <laughs> so if the chicken can get protein from plant based, I'm sure you too can get protein from plant based, right? And it all comes with doing the research, right? Um, I mean, these beans, all these different type of beans got, but we're going, we're going to get into, into more of that, right? But all these different. Okay, I'm back. I'm about to go live. Um, Amanda, 2002 is that concept, right? Practice it religiously, and that's that's it. So I think working out and and um personal trainer, um, United States Marine Corps. I joined that in two like a religion. You gotta practice that concept. Like nutrition, what, what what nutrition are you on? And that's that's it. So I think working out and and um your diet. So if you if let's say you you eat and you don't you don't work out, then what is it that you really doing? Right, you're not. That's that's critical, right? So don't you don't move from zero to a hundred. Run for a song, for a song, and when I got everybody's like, oh, everybody have goals, right? So once you get to that. Play or play? Um, yeah. What's your favorite team, and um, what position do you play, and what do you like about soccer and the mindset of soccer? You know, as um, I play when I when I when I when I was in high school, I was playing. So Rachel, but um, you yeah. know, she's she's actually she's actually the one who actually got me into being a vegan, though, right? Because before I was a pescatarian, a lot of people yeah, don't know this. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, it's like a general, it's like a gradual progression, right? So yeah. um about two years about two years ago, which was in December time, I wanna visit her in New York and she's like, Yeah, man, you pescatarian, how about we go um let's go vegan vegan vegetarian, right? And I was like, Yeah, man, I think we should do it. So she was like, Yeah, let's do it for like three months and see how it feels. And then we did it. I think three months I loved it. Like, I was like, man, I, I could do this because I was eating fish before. So since 2011, I've, I've had fish, right? Since 2011. But I was like, so about two years ago, we switched from go, from from fish to just being vegan now, right? If, um, it started with a, being a little vegetarian, but then I went vegan, right? And that was because she, she, she was the one who suggested it. She's like, hey, let's try it out. And then I tried out, I loved it. And then, and but now she, I think she, 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 she eats like fish, like she, she pescatarian, I think now. Yeah, so plant based diet. Um, there's a lot of questions about that. Um, a lot of um, there's a lot of media coverage about being vegan. Uh, mm -hmm. um, so I want to get some another spicy question uh, mm -hmm. about being vegan. What would okay. you say straight away before we dove into the diet issue and diet mm -hmm. food and veganism and just all kind of diets? Um, mm -hmm. What would you say to people, for instance, that never had vegan food and mm -hmm. say that hey, the food has no protein, has no mm -hmm. source of protein, people eat it, <laughs> they eat it? Um, what have you got to say to the vegan naysayers at the moment? <laughs> so, I mean, there's, now there's a lot of research about it, right? So there's a lot of research about it, so I don't even. But we gotta really gotta think though, right? If if you eating chicken, is is chicken eating chicken or is chicken eating beef? Like, no, they're not, <laughs> right? Like, if if you eating chicken to get your protein, what is the chicken eating chicken or is chicken eating beef to get protein? I mean, they're really not, right? <laughs> so if the chicken could get protein from plant based. I'm sure you too can get protein from plant based, right? And it all comes with doing the research, right? Um, I mean, these beans, all these different type of beans got, but we're going, we're going to get into, into more of that, right? But all these different type of beans got protein and you just got to do the research and figure out like, yo, this, this is what I really want to do, right? If you don't want to do it, then you give excuses. 
But if you really want to do it, then all the excuses go away and you focus on your why. Okay. And um, with with vegan food, what would you say what's what's the best vegan what's the best vegan diet? Like what, what what's your breakfast, lunch and dinner? Top 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 suggestions for vegan food. So for for me, uh, to to tell you the truth, Blake, I I don't operate like most people, so it'd be hard for a lot of people to operate like, especially my diet. I mainly eat once a day, like I I eat one main meal a day, and it's uh, in the afternoon, right? And then throughout the day, I'm eating mixed nuts and fruits. So if you look at my palates, right, most people would suggest people should eat like six times a day, seven times a day. That's that's different for them, right? But for me, I have this is my. If you look at my, this is my pyramid, right? If you look at my food pyramid, right, the the base of my food pyramid consists of veggies. So about fifty to sixty percent is veggies, right, right here, and it's it's a mixture of raw veggies and a mixture of cooked veggies. Like that's the base, and then you go up and you look at the um, twenty, right, about twenty percent, and that comes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we good. I'm yeah, we good? good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That London, listen, that that London Wi-Fi, man. You gotta, you gotta get something with that. You gotta do something with that London Wi-Fi, man. <laughs> kind of thing you were, you, were, you were talking about yeah, ca carry on mm -hmm. you know. so i mean if you if you if you look right at the, so so the base is veggies right which is 50 to 60 percent for me right and then about 10 to 20 percent is the fruits right mixed right and then on the other side will be all the the legumes and the beans right and then you go up and then you see the seeds like the seeds the um the nuts the avocados that's like that's 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 it right there. And then you go into the, the whole grains, the grains and the potatoes. That's that's my pyramid right here. So my base, my base is veggies, right? And then you move up and then you get the, the fruits and the mixed nuts, right? And then you go up a little bit, the beans, the legumes and the whole um and the the, the whole grains. That's that's my pyramid, right? That's it. Ain't nothing to it. There's no secret. People like put put your um put your nutritions up. I don't have any secret nutrition. Like I don't I don't have, I don't eat protein, none of that stuff. I just get all my stuff from plant based. Like, I don't even like stuff in the, in cans. You know what I mean? Do you eat? Do you, do you have? Do, what do you have for desserts? Do you eat dessert at all? What's a healthy dessert for you? <laughs> you know, the, you know, there's a bunch of um. I'll say, I'm always about fruits, man. So I have some. I'll, I'll put like frozen grapes or frozen um strawberries or frozen mangoes and yeah. man i'll be i'll be mm, i'll be destroying those man <laughs> but every once in a while we'll go to we we'll go to like the restaurant and we'll have like a nice vegan dessert but mainly man i destroy some of these these frozen i love frozen food some like oh it's not good for your teeth that's what my mom would say but <laughs> i'll be crushing them you know oh <laughs> uh, man so we're saying, have you got your have you got your joke of the day? Joke of the day? I don't I yeah. don't know if I have a I don't know if I have a joke, man. But I'm a, let me let me tell you a story that first happened to me when I got to New York, right? Yeah, it's it's not a joke, but it's a it's a lesson that it took me a while to learn, right? Which is <clears throat> when I first got to New York, I was excited because of mainly one thing, and that was like Chinese food. Right, because I could I could get like this was before I became plant based. Like I could get like a half a chicken for like a dollar. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was especially coming from Ghana to here. That was ridiculous, right? Yeah. And then they had all these they had all these different um they had all these different um mixes that you could get at the 
the Chinese restaurant. I see my boy. This is Sports with Blake. What's up, Vic? He's talking Big about like, the trail mix from Whole Foods. Yep. Okay, trail mix. Trail mix, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's one of my um uh, my my uh, my clients, man. He's a phenomenal guy. What's up, Rick? I see I see Vic, I see you on there. So I so I was going to the Chinese food restaurant, right? And there's a homeless guy standing outside of the Chinese food place. And this homeless guy was like, Yo, um, let me let me get some money to buy some food, man. And I'm like, nah, man, because usually the, the mindset is like if I give this homeless guy some money, what do you think he's gonna do with it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like go get drugs or alcohol. Right, right. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna give this homeless guy um any money, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something better for him. So I, w- I went inside the Chinese restaurant, bought some food for myself, and then bought him some food as well. Cause at that time I bought him um fried um fried pork rice lo mein, um right pork uh, pork rice and then some lo mein, right? And I brought it. And then I, I gave it to the um, to the homeless guy. He asked him, said, yo, yo, my man, what, what what is this? I'm like, yo, that's food. He said, what kind of food is it? And I was like, open the box. And he looked at it. He said, yo, is this pork? And I was like, yeah. And then he throws the food on the floor. And he's like, oh, you swine eater. And at that time, right, what would you do, Blake? Well, <laughs> well, well, yeah. I would have been, I would have been shocked, like, like, why you just threw the food? You're not hungry. Why? Like, like, at the same time, if he's thrown it on the floor like that, obviously he's not messing with pork. So, boom. I'd, I'd be like, okay, and maybe, and then probably make me think, like, okay, okay. Right. Maybe it'll trigger something. So, but it's, I was young at that time. I was like, I think I was like 15. And I okay. did not understand that concept, right? I thought yeah. I knew what was good for the homeless guy. No, you don't. Yeah. You do not know what is good for other people, right? So right now, if somebody were to buy food and give me pork, I might not throw it on the floor, right? But the, it'll be, I will reject that offer because it's not every, every you, you don't have to accept every gift because it's not every gift that is good for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, but that that concept took me a long time to understand that the how arrogant of me to think I know what is best for a homeless guy. Like, just because he's homeless, that don't mean I know what is best for him. You understand? And that's the concept that I apply with pretty much, like, the foundation of my fitness, right? When, when you come, I assess you. I don't just be like, yo, Blake, you need explosive. No. That, that, is, not, that is not true. That's why we have the assessment, right? You assess the individual. What does the individual need? I mean, finding stuff on YouTube and finding things on on the internet is cool, but is it what you need? Does it is it in line with your goals, right? And pretty much that's that's that concept helped me understand that. I don't know what is best for you. I have to really analyze you and talk to you and figure you out to figure out. Okay, these are some of the things that is good for you. And based on my professional perspective, how do we help you? get there okay just a quick um just a quick uh, recap just to let people know right okay. now right here with nubian ninja oh, oh, plus, explosive trainer personal trainer fitness guru um all the way right now in new york city he's here on the sports with blake podcast um please let the people know about your services um and what you provide and what you're promoting at the moment, please. Okay. I'm actually I'm actually in, in, in the DC area, Virginia, by the way, now. I, I go to I visited now, yep, now I'm here now. So what I'm promoting is just for you to be active. Like just be active. And if you don't know where to start, then hit me up. But I'm just right now I'm not here. I just want you to be active, right? And really understand why. Right. For me, why do I stay active? Because I have certain conditions in my family that I don't want. Right. Like diabetes and heart and all these. Like. Right. So I have I have a bigger why. Right. And there are certain goals that I want to achieve. But the underlying is really health reasons. Right. So that's that's my why. That's that's what keeps me going. I want to see my I don't have any kids, but I want to see my nephews grow. I want to see my nieces grow. Right. And being healthy is, is, is part of it. Right. So that's that's mainly my why. 
That's what's so, up. As long as you uh, understand your why, yeah. What's your? Please let the people know your all your contact details, how they can keep in touch with you. That's very important, you know, to see oh. the amazing workouts you're doing online. Um, the very interesting videos you're producing, also content wise. Let the people know your social media platform, please. I appreciate that. So I'm I'm mainly like active on pretty much mainly um Instagram and it's like Nubian underscore ninja. And the same thing, my sister was the one who got me into Instagram, really, man. He was like, You gotta start an Instagram, right? So Nubian underscore. And when I first started, she was just promoting me. I love my sister, man. She was just promoting, 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 promoting. Promote. Yeah, she was just promoting me, promoting me, promoting me, right? So it's Nubian underscore Ninja. Now she's telling me I got to start a um, YouTube. She's like, how come you haven't started a YouTube yet, right? You definitely should. Okay. And so that's that's some of the things that I'm, I'm working on now, right, to start a YouTube channel. But now I'm just mainly on Instagram. And um, so reaching my... Uh, listen, I respond to every message on Instagram. Like, if... There's not a person who could say I sent a Nubian Ninja message and he never replied. He's a lie. He's a liar or she's a liar. I always, unless you're talking about some crazy, then I'm not. I'm, I will respond and be like, no, I'm not. I'm not interested in that type of marketing, right? But I always <laughs> respond. It might take me a little bit, but I always respond, right? So reach me out on Instagram. You're gonna, you will hear from me, one hundred percent. So I've got a confession, yeah. Let's um, go. I'll... I recently gave up tea and coffee. What? And, uh, I've re this is what I've replaced it with. Let me know if I'm um, going on the right path here. Um, so I, I was doing a bit of research, as you were saying. Research is key. So every morning I'm waking up, especially during this corona situation, I feel like my sense of health. Um, it's, I've always been into just, just jogging and doing a, keeping, you know, keeping the immune system you know, in Nick anyway. So but I feel like, obviously, because of the pandemic, I feel it's been extra heightened right now, especially right. the immune system and how this is apparently what the corona is attacking the most. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been looking into ways to avoid having this coffee, caffeine feeling of where you're, you're feeling all shaky after you have a coffee. So mm -hmm. I've, I've, been, um, I've been having turmeric, turmeric in the morning and mm -hmm. I've been having matcha, matcha. So I've, I've got the powder, mm -hmm. I'm doing a couple of scoops, boiling mm -hmm. a little bit of milk and a bit of water and um, a bit of honey, a bit of organic honey. And okay. um, yeah, I've been, feel, I've been feeling good with it and I've been enjoying it. It's been that very, very good. <laughs> I feel like I don't have, a, I don't have no kind of, um, I don't feel like I want tea or coffee again. Yeah. And um, you, you know, I don't, I don't drink any coffee. And the teas that I use, I drink is um, I make the teas myself. Like I, uh, I love ginger and garlic, and um, I just, I, I love those. So I, I just heat the water and just put it in and just, just let it cook, right? Um, I haven't really had matcha. I've heard, I've heard a lot of things about it, but then usually I. I try to make my own things, man. So if somebody's making tea and making it into powder and sending it to me for me to drink, I usually, like, I can make my own. I just, you know what I'm saying? So I usually stay away from matcha, right? But the interesting thing is to build your immune system, right? We stuck into this. There's no balance, right? So these these coffees, like this, I mean, the, the tea, right, adds a So, turmeric is, is not sweet, is it? Hello? Yeah, 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 you're good, yeah. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're good? Uh, don't freeze. Uh, you're good. Man, this yeah. London, bro, listen, this London Wi-Fi, man, this London Wi-Fi, bro, you got to do something with it, bro. Come on, man. I'm good. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we're good. We're still here. We're still here. We're still here. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm still good here. You so you said I'm the month. I'm trying to move no, this around. You know one thing though. You know one thing that you could you could if if it was available you could add. Yeah. You know one thing that you can add. 
Yeah, what's Call that? Nut. Call a nut. Ooh, it's, it, oh, be, 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 it's called better, better cola. Better, better cola. Better, it's better. It's better. It's better cola. Better cola. Okay. Yeah, have you had it before? No, never, never, never. At all. Ooh, that will, it will. If, if my bag wasn't so far, I would have walked and, and and showed you how it is. So it's, it's, I mean, I, I tried it. I started trying it in, in, in Ghana, right? Yeah. And I get from here, African market store. That is is better, but it it really helps in terms of boost, boosting your. I mean, there are other things that it does too, right? It, but it helps with your immune system because you're used to eating all these sweets and sweets and sweets, right? So having these different yeah. things. I'm not a nutritionist, but having all these different things like the bitter cola, the turmeric, the teas, right? Helps create that balance and strengthens your immune system. I'm so I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you're on the right path though, man. So uh, you think you're gonna you're gonna be a vegan when you gonna start being a vegan, man? Well, uh, you know what? <laughs> 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 just yo, just, just <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're we're live on mm-hmm. camera. We're live on podcast. What we're we gonna do? Because I'm all about experimenting and seeing a better way because as like yourself i want to mm-hmm. be around for a long time to see i don't see my future kids see my future grandchildren all of this stuff so i believe that at, at the age i'm at now you know young early 30s and that i need to like <laughs> just you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. i need to just um yeah so i don't set me a vegan challenge man maybe like I don't know, a seven-day vegan challenge. How about that? It's seven day. That. <laughs> you said seven-day. How about you try a 30-day vegan challenge? How about that? A 30-day. No, no, no. 30. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, you got, let's start out. Let's start out. Small. Yeah, just give give me the foods. Give me the foods and I'll do that, bro. I'll try it. Give me the foods. I'll do it. I'll do it, bro. Trust me. I mean, um, I mean, the, for, for, I really believe in, like, the concept, like, plant-based, right? Plant-based yeah. is... is Plant based, you could um, you could start out with like one one, whereby you just eat just pretty much plants, right? Just plant based, right? And then yeah. the next week, maybe you do, maybe you do two days out of that that next week, right? Oh, Vera's talking about vegan um, recruiter for uh for veganism. Yeah, I mean, so let's let's just start out with like maybe three days. What about you just do plant based? How does that sound? Just three days out of the week for the for yeah. the next three. Let me. Uh, all right, let, all right. Let, let's say from. Uh, oh shit! So next Wednesday, next Wednesday we're gonna do that. We we'll kick that off next Wednesday. We'll kick that off. I'm gonna do three oh. days. Yeah, three days, and let me know how you feel after the three days. You, there's, you, you're gonna feel something different. Like everybody who do it, like just three days. Just, <laughs> Just three days, three days of just plant based, like no chicken, yeah. no chicken, no, no, nothing crazy. <laughs> just no, no eggs. <laughs> I see you some. Um, so no, no eggs, none of that stuff. Just plant based for three days. Okay. Yeah. And what, I'm, I'm listen, a, I'm, I'm I, I would not, what would you need for me for you to start this journey? Because usually when you tell people, when you ask people to do certain things, you don't enable, you don't give them the tools to achieve that goal, right? So you ask the person, if I want, if I want to, I want to help you achieve this goal, right? And because I want to help you achieve this goal, what would you need for me in order for you to be able to achieve this goal? It's just, it's just knowing, it's just knowing what to put in the body, really. Just knowing the right, you know, for the three days, what am I, what am I, just suggestions of food to buy, really. That's about it. I think okay. I'm good. I'm, I'm, Mindset-wise, I'm strong enough to, to to handle that, like, really, you know. So it's just about, I just need to know that there's a variation of foods. <laughs> I, know, I like to eat, so, but I just need to know there's a variation of things to eat. Because, you know, I'm a food <laughs> regardless. No matter what, no matter with vegan food, whatever, if I'm eating vegetables all day, if there's 10 types of, 20 types of vegetables, then I'm sweet, I'm good. There's variation. <laughs> okay, so after this, I will send you certain things for you to for you to eat that three days. Like, 
All right, and then you should you should feel phenomenal after eating that for three days. You're gonna be like, man, I really eat. <laughs> You're gonna be like, so, so, um, Blake. <clears throat> yeah. Let me let me tell you something real quick, right? What's the most yeah, like, what is the what is the most weird, what is the most weirdest thing you 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 ate? Oh, jeez, deep question. Give me a second. Weirdest thing. Oh, well, thank you. Have, yeah, yeah, let's think about it. Yeah, yeah, I, I know where it is because. I had it, and members of my family still have it. Um, but I, I had it once, and I, I always wonder why did they eat that? Why? Right. I never understood it. Obviously, right. I'm, I'm half of my family's Ghanaian, there, and half is Jamaican, and Ooh, I'm on the okay. On the Ghanaian side, okay. I had a thing. I had a thing called cow foot. Oh, adverts, bro. Yeah, times in the interview, bro. Fucking joke. to because you need a bit different I'll up to you was like I'll put a ass slows it less it three days. That's 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 yeah yeah interesting um yeah. I heard it I heard it. I What would you need for me for you to start this journey? Because usually, when you tell people, when you ask people to do certain things, you don't enable, you don't give them the tools to achieve that goal, right? So, then from then my nightmares. Every time, any time I hear about What is the most weirdest thing you've, you've, you've ate? Oh, jeez. Deep question. Give me a second. Weirdest thing. Oh, thank you. Have, yeah, yeah, let's think about it. Yeah, yeah, I, I know where it is because I had it and members of my family still have it. Um, but I, I had it once and I, I always wonder why did they eat that? Why? Right. I never understood it. Obviously, right. I'm, I'm half of my family's Ghanaian, half is Jamaican, and Ooh, I'm on the okay. On the Ghanaian side, okay. I had a thing. I had a thing called cow foot. Mm-hmm. And um, they call it nane. Nane. Okay. Nane. Yeah, yeah, nane. That's that's yeah, yeah. Okay. So I had that. And, you no, know, I just didn't. I, I I I put it in my mouth, and I was just like. <laughs> Then from then like nightmares. Time any time I hear about So yeah, I, I would say that some people have had a lot worse than that, but for me, yeah. I mean, so, okay, so I, I I lived in Vietnam for a year and a half, right? Okay. Um, and the first time 
the, the my host came and picked me up, right? It was late. And most of the restaurants were closed, but he was like, yo, Jay, try. So he takes me to this restaurant. They have um, what you call pho, right? You have pho. I mean, Vietnamese food is like those. It's called pho, right? Uh, uh, you can hear me? Yeah, pho, right? So he takes me to this place. It was late. So I had I had this food. And he's like, let me order for you. He orders for me. I'm eating the food. It tastes all right. And I was like, man, what am I eating? Um, His, his name was Mr. Ha. He was like, oh, Jay, you eating... um." You eat a dog. Do you, you like it, right? And I was like, <laughs> and that was the first and last time I had dog meat, right? Yeah. I was I was like, dude, this is wild. So people on people like I was telling this like last I was like the last time I did my live, right? Whereby I had dog meat. And like it it, it opened my eyes to the things. Like the things that you think yo, you know, you yo, don't I know. Right? Yo. Mm -hmm. The reception's a bit mad. Let's, yes. let, let's do this and reconnect and see if it'll get better on my end, yeah? Okay, okay. All right, okay, okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to send you another request. Let me see. All right. Checking in with Nubian Ninja again, and we're just going to talk about. Um, Yo, one of the weirdest dishes he's ever had. I wonder what that dish is, though. <laughs> Nubian Ninja. Nubian. We good? Oh, this thing freezing. Are you good? Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, bro. So, um, tell us about that. Tell us about that meal again. It's still a bit. I don't know what's going on. The Wi-Fi. Can you hear me? Yo, yo, listen. Oh man. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but the screen's just freezing a bit. You kind of like. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> I can see you though. I can see you moving around. You know, I don't know how you can't see me. My screen on my phone is clear, but then your your screen's a bit freezy. It's like no, my pixel. Screen. And I could I could see you pretty clear too, man. I don't know what's going. Listen, you need to get a new Wi-Fi, man. I'm not talking to you again until you get a new Wi-Fi. London, change the whole London <laughs> network. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <Reba. laughs> you say you're in Virginia. You're in the countryside, bro. There ain't even no Wi Fi out there. <laughs> Big shout out to the Virginia crews. Uh, that, that dish, you, that, tell us about that dish because you know, that sounds like an interesting story. So, you know, one of the weirdest food you ever had in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. So, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. You're good now. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I got I got on a plane and a guy came and picked me up and then I was in Vietnam and so he takes me to this restaurant because it was late. He takes me to this restaurant mm -hmm. and then so they have noodles there. It's called pho, right? Uh, yeah. So with the yeah pho. So I I, I go there, joined the ate the restaurant. Not when I ate it, I was like, man, this is not bad, right? And he said, like, yeah, you know what you just ate? This was before I was a vegan, right? He said, like, yeah, you just ate dog. And I was like, what? I just okay. ate dog? This is crazy. But <laughs> Listen, for all my dog lovers out there, I'm sorry, but I did eat one of your friends, right? So the thing is, in the morning, when you, when you, <laughs> when you, when you see them get, how they, how they, they get transported, it's it's quite disgusting because you see the limbs hanging out, the 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 legs hanging off the of the bike, right? But I, I I'm saying this to to say this. Some people will say there's nothing the there's nothing good or bad, but the mind makes the soul, right? So there's nothing good or bad, but the mind makes the soul. But when I ate dog, I would I would highly disagree with that statement. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I would highly yeah. 
Mine. Have you, have you had dog before? No. Um, in the UK, they they in the UK, a dog, a dog, a dog in the UK is so special. Like every, there's so much dog lovers in the UK, it's like ridiculous. <laughs> People are walking their dogs constantly. Yeah, dogs are very close to um the home in the UK. Uh, you know, it's, when it comes, it's to the same here. Yeah, it's, it's the same. same. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same here, man. But it just yeah. so I'm just saying it. It just shows the different diet that different people have, right? Um, yeah, just yeah. about. Yeah. Right. So it's just about it's just about creative balance. Yeah, because it. I think in Vietnam, I heard, I heard that they eat, um in Vietnam, I heard they eat frog out there. Frogs. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, in the Asian. Yeah, yeah, they have some different things that you can you can you can enjoy if you want to enjoy it right even um mm. people, they eat some i mean they eat, you could eat snake because I, I went i went with some people whereby they ate snake and uh and the older person has to i think eat the heart of the snake and, and like take a shot and eat the heart of the, 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 the snake bro interesting um yeah i heard it i heard and also i heard i don't know i heard in certain parts of africa i'm not really sure where but uh I think crocodile gets eaten as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's supposed to make you like, very strong, apparently. Interesting. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of things out there in the world in terms of diet wise that um that you can you can you can indulge in, right? The question is, is like, what are some of the goals and why are you doing it? Like for the crocodile reason, people are eating it because they want, they want to get strong, right? For the dog, sometimes yeah. that's all they have or that's all they know, right? Since they're growing up, right? But as you get older, right? But as you get older, it's up to you to do your own research to figure out, is this uh, what, yeah, is this what I want, right? If this what I, if this what you want and it's working for you, and it's in line with your goals, then go ahead, right? But if you want to try an alternative, right, something else, then try the vegan or try the plant-based or try something else, right? So I, I see life as an ex life as an experiment, right? There are certain things that you don't want to there are certain things that you don't want to experiment with, right? Like I don't want to lay on the, on the on the ground for the truck to run over my head, right? But there are certain things that you can ex you can ex experiment with right and diet is one of them you can experiment experiment and see how how it affects your energy system right just like working out mm -hmm. what are the different things and how does that affect my energy system if you just used to run in long distances right and you see all these long distance runners have slim bodies right they they, they trim right just look at all these candies they're just slim because they're running all these long distances and then you look at a guy like usain bolt right sprinter has a different kind of physique right so you could combine the two you could do a mixture of long distances and a mixture of like some explosive work maybe you get an in-between right because most of these squares kind of have these kind of body built right most of these long distance runners have these built right so it's just the, the the main thing is life is an experiment so try to experiment within the boundaries right like reasonable boundaries though Mm, I love that, man. I love that, bro. And um, what would you say? I saw there's a couple of cu couple of last questions. I saw on your Instagram live, um, you was doing a challenge where you was in some kind of water. You looked like you were on a river somewhere, and um, there was a couple of logs planted inside that kind of river, and you were standing on one of the logs, and you was mm -hmm. looking to jump out to another part of the log, and your friend mm -hmm. was like, "Now you." That and you were like, no, I can't. It's like, I can do that. I can do that. And then you kind of cut the camera off so nobody can see the camera. Don't look really long. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. The, 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 jump, the jump looked really long and far away. So yeah. what the people want to do is tell us about that challenge. Did you make this log jump water challenge at a distance? Really? That, <laughs> that challenge was, yo, it, actually in the, um, <clears throat> in the camera, it looks, it looks closer, 
but that 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 log is 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 is, is a ways out, right? Yeah. So I I stood on it, and listen, when I stood on it, so you have well you have to jump a little bit to the first one, right? <clears throat> so I did a little step. Yo, yo, listen. Oh, man. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but the screen's just freezing a bit. You're kind of like, I don't know. Mm, That's mm, weird. Mm, mm, mm. I can see you, though. I can see you moving around, you know? I don't know how you can't see me. My, my screen on my phone is clear, but then your, your screen's a bit freezy. It's like no, a big sword. And I could I could see you pretty clear too, man. I don't know what's going. Listen, you need to get a new Wi-Fi, man. I'm not talking to you again until you get a new Wi-Fi. London, change the whole London network. I <laughs> <laughs> hey, You say you're in Virginia. You in the countryside, bro? There ain't even no Wi-Fi out there. <laughs> <laughs> interesting story so you know one of the weirdest food you ever had in vietnam yeah yeah so can you hear me now yeah I can. you're good now yeah okay so so i, I got i got on a plane and a guy came and picked me up and then i was in vietnam and so he takes me to this restaurant because it was late he takes me to this restaurant mm -hmm. and then so they have noodles there it's called pho right uh, yeah. so with the yeah, for, so I, I, I go there, join the, ate the restaurant. I, when I ate it, I was like, man, this is not bad, right? And he was like, yeah, you know what you just ate? This was before I was a vegan, right? He was like, yeah, you just ate dog. And I was like, what? I just okay. ate dog? This is crazy. But <laughs> listen, for all my dog lovers out there, I'm sorry, but I did eat one of your friends, right? So... The thing is, in the morning, when you when you <laughs> when you when you see them get how they how they, they get transported, it's it's quite disgusting because you see the limbs hanging out, the 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 legs hanging off the of the bike, right? But I, I, I'm saying this to to say this. Some people will say there's nothing the, there's nothing good or bad, but the mind makes the soul, right? So there's nothing good or bad, but it might make the soul, but when I ate dog, I would I would highly disagree with that statement. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I would highly yeah. Man, have you have you had dog before? No, um, in the UK they they in the UK dog a dog a dog in the UK is so special. Like every, there's so much dog lovers in the UK, it's like ridiculous. <laughs> People are walking their dogs constantly. Yeah, dogs are very close to um, the home in the UK, uh, you know, it's, when it comes it's to... It's the same here. And, yeah, it's, it's the same. same. It's it's the same. A, yeah, it's the same. It's the same here, man. But it just... Yeah. So, I'm just saying it, it just shows the different diet that different people have, right? Um, yeah, it's yeah. about... Yeah. So, it's just about, it's just about creating balance. 
Yeah, because it. I think in Vietnam, I heard that, heard that they eat, um in Vietnam. I heard they eat frog out there. Frogs. Is that right? Yeah, in the Asian. Yeah, yeah. They have some different things that you can you can you can enjoy if you want to enjoy it, right? Even um, mm. people, they eat some. I mean, they eat, you could eat snake because I, I went I went with some people whereby they ate snake and uh, and the older person has to I think eat the heart of the snake and and like take a shot and eat the heart of the, 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 the snake. Bro, interesting. Um, yeah, I heard. It, I heard, and also I heard. I don't know. I heard in certain parts of Africa. I'm not really sure where, but uh, I think crocodile gets eaten as well. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. yeah. it's, supposed, it's supposed to make you like, very strong, apparently. Interesting. So I mean, there's there's a lot of things out there in the world in terms of diet wise that um that you can you can you can indulge in right